So here is the new to us 1993 Jeep XJ Cherokee Sport. I'll give a quick walk around. We're going to do a light restoration of this, kind of like we're doing on the, uh, the blue bends. But want to get and document the kind of initial condition of the truck because it's actually in really nice shape um, for its age. The, uh, the truck has only about 90,000 original miles. You can see some scuffs there. And I think a lot of this, you know, this is filthy. It's got a cracked windshield. Um, this black is peeling a little bit off the doors. It's got some scuffs you can see there on the rear door. But this is one of those vehicles that is just absolutely bulletproof durable because there's nothing on it that can really go wrong um, unless it's rust so this you can see the the rockers are here on the passenger side are really clean um, no real rust to speak of we'll get up underneath here in a minute but the car has or the jeep has no power anything no power locks no power windows um, it's a five-speed manual you can see that there the uh Everything is like hard plastic, so it has worn well over the last 30 years. You can see it's dirty, um, needs a good cleaning, just filthy inside, but on balance, not, you know, not ripped up, not torn up. This is a little bit loose. Um, it's got air conditioning, the air conditioning works. It's got a vintage head unit that doesn't. Um, it's got uh, a cruise control that doesn't work, um, but the wipers and stuff do. Drove this about 20 miles uh, from where I picked it up today to the house. and had no issues, no problems. Um, you can see the, the wheels are still the original wheels. There's no lift, no weird, um, no weird stuff on the, uh, on the truck. The one thing I did notice when I looked at the... Uh, at the tires, I'm trying to see if I can find the, the date code on it. But these things were, um, at least the front tires were like uh, date code. You can see it's 06. So 18 oh, year old tires on the back, 21 year old tires on the front. Um, so it's getting a little bit, uh, a little bit long in the tooth. Those are going to need to be replaced. They're not dry rotted though, not, or at least not that I could see. See the bumper scuffed up a bit. Um, it's a four liter high output. And it looks like it was originally purchased a Colorado Jeep Eagle in Denver, Colorado. It's a one owner car. Oops, I'm going to go the other direction on this one. Um, it's a one owner car. So the, uh, I don't have a lot of the history. Um, I believe the owner may have passed away. Um, the back isn't folding up, but um, you can see it's got the mat and underneath the mat, you can see the carpet is almost like brand new. This back doesn't look, a lot of times these things get beat up, scuffed up a fair bit. This doesn't look like that's happened at all. Um, the spare tire. The original Goodyear, it doesn't look like it's ever, has never been changed, it's never been on the ground, and it's um, still full. You can see it's filthy. I think it sat for quite a while, but you know, no rust on the bottom of the tailgate um, or up in all those kind of typical spots that these Jeeps rust. got the uh, four by four you can see the emergency brake doesn't work um, that's a little bit of an issue because I live on a hill you can see it goes and it slopes down there so this has got to sit at the top of the, the top of the driveway for now and you can see the even the driver's seat there's no cracking no peeling this is there is one little spot of surface rust that I found and it's right here on the driver's side door so you can see there's just a little bit of rust starting there so we're gonna get on get on that here sooner rather than later but 
rockers are good, solid. Um, and if we look under the truck, you can see that, I mean, it is just a really good, solid rig. This is uh, this is the worst side, and you can see that the rust is you know, just started here at the here at the seam, um, and it's you know not even pushed through. So we're gonna get that all cleaned up. Um, but the you know the rails are good, the rockers are good, the pinch weld is good. I mean it's leaking a little bit of oil, but. It's a Jeep, so I expect it to do some of that. Um, but it's a, like I said, it's in really, really, really nice shape here underneath. These things are getting uh, very difficult to find in original condition. And so it was really nice to find this one. Like I said, one owner, uh, per the Carfax. In here we've got the we've got the uh, four liter. Looks like it's blowing some oil out the uh, PVC or evaporator cap or whatever. Um, all the fluids are shot. The you can see the windshield washer stuff is kind of blown over. The coolant is brown. Um, you know, belts are going to need to get redone. So I'm going to do all the fluids, get this all cleaned up. See, it's, like I said, it's kind of filthy. It does look like it's got a relatively, relatively new battery. Um, but again, uh, the truck itself is, you know, still 30 years old. It starts right up. I'll get in and see the roof here. Everything is nice and clean and nice and clean get in give it start power on bluetooth waiting for connection bluetooth is connected you can see on the odometer see the odometer 89,397 miles. Um, oil pressure is good. It's discharging a little bit right now, but it's generally um, we're looking at 14, 13.8, so that looks like it's charging fine. Um, the uh, When I drove it earlier, it sat right about 210, right where it should. Um, air conditioning blows cold. And like I said, the e-brake doesn't work. Um, so we'll have to get on that. The shift knob is kind of shot. So get on that. Um, four wheel drive works fine. And uh, really it just needs a really good bath. Oh, the other part, headliner. It's coming down in the back. So we're gonna need to put a new headliner in um, to get to address the uh, to address that the one thing i did notice driving it over you know i'm i'm old enough to have been able to buy one of these new when they came out so i remember uh, these vehicles when they were new but it surprises me now just how small they are um you know these were mid-size suvs um back in the late 80s early 90s and now they are smaller than a rav4 by a fair margin um but they're you know you feel like you're driving a tonka toy um but they're great visibility they rode out nice no death wobble got it up to about 70 miles an hour um had no issues no problems so like i said it's a it's a good little rig and i'll put up um some videos this was going into rotation um with the other cars on maintenance and upkeep this one, like I said, like the blue Mercedes, is going to be a, a light restoration and kind of bring it back to uh, bring it back to good health and hopefully keep it around for a while.